Welcome ladies and gentlemen in yet another episode of a little modular. Today we will take a closer peek at this fantastic module right here. The elegant one and only jellyfish made by Plankton Electronics Company. Now whenever I use this module I have a strong urge to impersonate Donald Trump and say that this module is gonna make your head spin. <laughs> Because it is and it quickly became my favorite delay of all delays I have and I have plenty of them Matkan dual delay DLD by 4ms and um, an Amog delay desktop module and, and these are of course all great modules I love them but they have different strengths the uh, first two delays I mentioned the Matkan double delay and the 4ms dual looping delays these are really crystal clear delays. Now this one right here we're talking a dirty, gooey, grainy, really sweaty delay. That's because it's built upon the same chip that's included in the classical uh, Echo delay by Synchrotech. So if you ever use the uh, Echo that's the same flavor but definitely a lot more advanced as you will see uh, soon. Now let's just start with the basics and take a look at the panel, which is beautifully designed. I really love those rubbery coated knobs, the same ones as on the thought processor, for example, and for that matter, all the new tip-top modules. Let's start with the layout and the interface. It's really simple, uh, really easy to understand. If you have ever used any delay, you will immediately feel at home right here. First is the mix section located on the left side of the module. The first knob right here is responsible for gain of the incoming signal. You can see there is a LED blinking next to it, red LED, which indicates that the signal is distorting. Of course, there's nothing wrong with it. You can distort it, it sounds different. Here below, uh, we have dry and wet knobs for mixing the dry level. For example, right here, you can hear, I have a simple percussion sound coming from hex inverter rim shot module. Below we have the wet knob, which helps us to set the level of affected signal going to the output. And you can already hear. So I can leave just the wet signal without the dry one. Okay. We're gonna mix it right now so we can hear both. Now, the most important parameter of this module, obviously, is the time parameter, which sets the time between each taps. As you can hear, the longer it gets, the more dirty and gooey it gets. So, you have a really wide range of times, from really short ones, like carpal strong almost, you can hear it, to really long. The longest one, I believe, is 1.23 seconds, so it's really long. All right, now the second knob for setting the time of the delay is the fine knob. And this is what I really love about this module, because I have never actually seen this kind of knob on any other delay module, because it allows you to set the time of the delay with a great precision. So it's just like a fine control on your oscillator, for example. So you set an approximate 
time with this knob and then you fine tune it with this knob right here. A lovely function really. One important thing to remember about these knobs is when you power up your system these shall not be in minimal settings because module won't work. Below is the all familiar feedback knob which decides how much of the process sound will come back to the delay for further processing. Okay, If you turn it up all the way clockwise you get this wall of sound. have a low pass filter so if you want to get this vintage kind of dubby delay you would just turn this knob left and get rid of all of the heights so you can hear it just becomes more muddy and muffled the more we turn it counterclockwise okay if you want to open it just turn it clockwise and it will be brighter. Here we have a built-in LFO. Simple. Here you set the rate of the LFO, which is indicated by this LED right here. Faster, slower. It goes into the uh, audio rate territory. Here is the depth of the LFO. And this LFO, of course, is modulating the time parameter. You can choose two waves for it, triangle wave and a square wave. So we can already hear we get some funky modulations, crazy sounds. Okay. Now you can get even grainier and dirtier by engaging the lo-fi circuit right here. It does what it says. It just makes all the things sound really grungy and grainy and it just messes up the signal beyond recognition. One more important thing about the LFO, which is not stated in the manual, the LFO is more pronounced when the time CV attenuator is set it up all the way clockwise. So remember about that. We're getting some lovely delays right here. I love it. I should press record, but I can't because I'm still doing the review. Okay, anyway, I'll be back here. You can also synchronize the LFO to external clock with the sync input. Just fit it with some clocks or some square LFOs. And I strongly encourage you to insert here some irregular clocks like triggers from sequencer, for example, from Triggerman or whatever. Last but not least, we have send section. You have a send output socket and return input socket. So you can actually send the uh, delay signal to some external processor, process it externally, and it goes back via this socket right here. So we can make even some more dramatic changes to it, which I will show you in a second. Now let's take a closer look at the modulation section right here. We have uh, three CV inputs. You can control time parameter with this right here. And here is the attenuator for it, which I mentioned before. You can control feedback also with the attenuator. And you can control the wet parameter also with attenuator. Audio input, audio output right here. And also really flexible thing. Here at the end of the, the panel we get the LFO out. So we can actually use this LFO, this internal LFO, to modulate some external modules. Let me just show you some practical examples. We can make some really fast sounds. Okay. So we can get those chirpy distorted sounds. Let's use the filter to tone it down a bit and you get some instant drones. Okay, so fast, I mean tons of different sounds. We can apply some modulation. Right? Let's adjust the rate and maybe use 
the triangle. And we could go into the uh, audio rate with the LFO. And maybe let's adjust the delay. Let's adjust the filter. Now, let's apply some modulation. For example, I have some CV recorded with the uh, CV Trinity module by Bastel. And I will modulate the time. Then I can apply some LFO to the feedback. And you can already hear, we get some <laughs> really weird stuff going on, just with a simple rim shot. Now let's hear how it will behave with some other sounds. I have some random DPO complex wave connected to the in. This is dry signal. Let's try maybe something brighter. This is a signal from Twin Waves by Clavis. This is some simple saw, I believe. We get those spikes, so you can hear exactly what's happening in between those spikes. Okay. Let's synchronize this delay with some external clock. I have a trigger man connected to the sync input. It gets weirder! Yeah! Let's engage the uh, lo-fi mode. Let's go extremely long delays. Maybe let's change the modulation a little bit. Okay, let's make it faster. I was thinking about getting the lo-fi junkie, but at this point, I think that this is a lot more fun, to be honest. Now, that's not all. What I have next to Jellyfish is Fault Processor by TipTop. It's a new module which I'll review pretty soon. What I need to do is I just need to connect the sand to input of the Fault Processor. As you can hear, the sound stopped. That's because the inputs and outputs of the sand section are normalized. So I need to connect it to the external module so we can hear it. And I can use the fault processor and you can hear we get some extreme effect going on. We get some really drastic changes. Now we're talking. Okay, so we're talking some uh, extreme glitch right here. How about we connect this delay to some other delay? In my example, I have a modcon delay connected to the sand, and I have just to connect output of modcon delay to return. Let's go back to the rim shot. Okay. Now 
know, if you play around... ...with both of the delays... ...you can get some absolutely fantastic... ...delays. Especially if you change the modes on the mod can. So we get some metallic stuff with the filter resonance cranked up in conjunction with jellyfish. You can actually record a whole piece with just those two delays. Now we can of course take out the LFO from jellyfish and we can clock the modcon delay if we want so it's synced together with the LFO okay it's just one of the examples so as you can see this module sports a lot of delay power under the hood of this elegant faceplate it goes for 270 euro so if you consider all the functions, the filter, the LFO, this makes it super cheap. So I strongly recommend that you at least give it a try. And I bet you won't take it out of your rack. <laughs> Mark my words. Now, my friends, I'll have to stop talking and start moving those knobs. Because as you can hear, I think... I just spotted a really nice flock of jellyfishes. Jellyfish? Jellyfishes. And they are swimming towards me. And I think I'll have to make friends with them. So I'll just say bye to you. And I see you next time, I guess. Bye bye. Take care. Happy wiggling. I'll be back. I hope.